What's up, my one amaze? Ryan J. Lambert here. Yes, Dove. Today's primer to audio stuff. So, let's first start off just with the things you're going to be needing. Because you're going to be needing things. Um, for, for sound effects, you can try and get some sound effect libraries that you can use. There's also a really great website called freesound.org, which is all publicly contributed um, sound effects and stuff. And there's BFXR, which can make little boopy, weep, weep sounds. And if you want to make sounds yourself or, you know, voice act to talk to people like I'm doing right now, um, I would highly recommend getting a USB condenser mic. Not just like a USB mic or, or a normal mic or... Condenser mics are those big, heavy, fancy studio mics and the USB types are are way cheaper than a normal studio condenser mic like way cheaper <laughs> and it don't require a whole ton of extra stuff if you get a, like a condenser studio mic it needs like a preamp and a bit i just have a, a usb condenser mic costs like a hundred bucks around there if you want you can get like a pop filter and a the stand i don't have either of those i just don't talk directly into the mic <laughs> Obviously, most important of all is you need some sort of sound editor. I use Sony SoundForge. There's other things, though. I think they're all pretty much the same. Uh, there are some super like helpful plugins you can get, like um, like Ozone 4. Pretty amazing for mastering stuff. And um, by the same company, there's a Nectar, which is pretty great, too. Um, and there's Waves plugins, which I enjoy some of them. But a lot, lot of the, a lot of the editing that you'll be doing to sound is like right there in any sort of basic sound editor. Stuff like pitch and volume and s smoothness, I guess, and compression. Compression is important. So when you start making the audio for your game, uh, really important, the first thing you start out with is ambience. Cannot stress this enough. I mean... I mean, the same applies for like if you're you're doing a movie or whatever. Ambience is the bed of the the soundtrack. So ambience is just like the sounds you hear all the time, just sort of humming away underneath everything else. It, it doesn't stand out generally. It's just there. And if you don't have have that ambience there, the soundtrack feels really empty. Sound effects will stick out like a sore thumb, and it doesn't work very well in a sound library or in um, free sounds. There, there will be ambience for specific sort of things, like street ambience, noisier type of ambiences that, that have a lot more presence. But um, just to make like a general basic sort of ambience, uh, you want to want to create some some noise, some like white noise or, or gray noise or pink noise or whatever they they want to call it. Uh, in in SoundForge, I've I've got this in the. Um, there's a there's a synthesis section which has this. I, I don't know where it would be in other programs, but I'm sure it'll be somewhere. <laughs> you could you could probably even do something similar with a BFXR, and then you can um, you can change that sort of bass synthetic noise sound by just processing it in different ways, messing with the pitch or the reverb or smoothing it out, enhancing it, um, running it through any of a billion presets in, in Ozone. Once you have your ambience, it, it's good to try and make a sound effect right away and try and see how you can make them fit together. Cause like when I do it, it's, it's not just getting a sound effect. Anyone can just pick out a sound effect. You, you, you should also process it so that it fits into the world. So once again, this means, you know, editing it, uh, pitching it, smoothing it, enhancing it, reverb, delay, compress it, EQ it. EQing is very important. That's the, the equalizer. It allows you to take away or add more volume to specific parts of the frequency. Like uh, like in music, you might remove the high frequencies of bass sounds and just focus it on the bass. And for voice, you'd focus it on the mid-range. And for like a, the bed of sounds, you might reduce it just for that little mid-range so, so the voice pokes through. Um, with sound effects, I find it really important to figure out the things you do to process it to sound right in into a little system so that you can do it to every type of sound, having, you know, consistency through these sounds. 
one thing when you're when you're making sound for a game which is a lot different than for like a movie or whatever is that there are programming stuff that you have to consider uh before you you put sounds in or before you process them or like uh if you're gonna be messing with the volume in the game or messing with the pan in the game or if you, you have a 3d game where there is a 3d sound system where it messes with the pan and the volume and the equalizer to you know place it at different positions so it would kind of you know help to um play with that stuff early on as part of figuring out how you're going to process the sounds overall just to you know ma make sure it'll work in the final product now as far as music is concerned in the first place i just want to say that you don't you don't need music music isn't a thing that games need Ambience and, and sound effects are far more important than than any bit of music. Um, but if you do want music for your game, uh, you don't even have to make it from scratch. There are plenty of musicians out there who are dying for some publicity, some listeners. So if you you know troll a uh, SoundCloud or Bandcamp for independent artists who are making interesting things that might fit with what you want, and you just ask them if you if you can use their music, and that that'll that'll be nice. You'll be helping. They'll be helping you. Symbiotic relationship. Um, if you're interested in making music though, if it's something you actually want to do as a thing, I, I'm not really going to get into teaching you music, that's too massive of a, a thing to be teaching, and I barely remember the stuff I learned on music, so um, certainly there's, there's programs like Reason and, and Fruity Loops, and, and you could even make music without programs. You know, like with your hands or mouth, that's a thing that exists. Um, uh, it helps when you're getting into composing music to learn about scales and, and chords and stuff. But, but don't think too hard about that stuff. It's music theory, it's not music answer. There's um, helpful rules, but there's no hard rules. So it's really more about experimentation and, and figuring out good ideas. I'll I'll link to some music related things I guess in the in the box and um that that's it that's the really short primer episode for audio uh next time we'll talk a bit about um like plots writing stuff like that we're really stretching thin now <laughs> okay goodbye